in this machine learning class we will start our second part of second unit basics of future engineering and uh, this is the introduction class and here we will learn what is futures and uh, what is future engineering uh, first let us see what is futures uh, future is an attributes of data set okay attribute of data set it is used in machine learning classes right for example, let us take a student data set. Student data set. In the student data set, we are having student number, student name, and year, semester, subject one, etc. Subject year. Okay. So these are the student data set. here see this serial uh, that is student number student name here these are all called as attributes these are all called as attributes these attributes are called as features okay feature is an attributes of data set okay and the attributes are also called as dimensions are also called as dimensions for example we are having six subjects okay s1 s2 s3 etc up to s6 so s6 7 8 9 10 this data uh, table contains 10 attributes okay 10 attributes means this is 10 dimensional data set 10 dimensional data set right so if the data set is having n features, then it is called as n dimensional data set. Okay. Now, the selection of subset of feature is an important subpart of machine learning. Selection of subset. For example, I want only the subject, uh, that is all the subject along with student number. Along with student number. So, instead of 10, I require only 7 attributes. I require only 7 attributes. So, this selection of subset, okay, which is an important part of machine learning. In what basis we are going to select this subset? Okay, that is only the required field. Fields in your data set. Okay, selecting only the required fields or requiring attributes in a data set is called as subset selection. Okay. Uh, for example, let us take this IRIS data set from UCI repository. So, in the Google uh, type UCI repository and in the data set, uh, select the IRIS data set. Okay, otherwise you can directly type IRIS uh, data set from UCI repository in Google. Then you will get this uh, uh, page. So this is Irish data set and the details of Irish data set are given here. Okay. Data set characteristics, attribute characteristics and associated task. Number of instance, 150 records are there in this data set and number of attributes are 4. Number of attributes are 4 here. Okay. Missing values, no missing values here area life okay date donated in this date and number of web hits so this much members referred this particular data set okay here we can see somewhat detail about this iris data set so here we can see the source information um, creator who is the creator who is the donor after that we can see the uh, data set information then the attribute information are also given here these four are, see these four are target attributes. And the fifth one is very important, class attribute. So based on the class only, we can classify the, uh, the records. Okay. So the fifth one is class attribute. Three different classes are there in this data set. Uh, here we can see some of the records in this data set, that is instance of this data set. Okay, so here sepal length, 
sepal width, uh, petal length, petal width, and species. So this is class species. Okay, are the attributes. Attributes of the data set. Attribute of data set. That is Irish data set. Okay. How many attributes there? There are five attributes are here. So these five are otherwise called as features. Okay. And here the species is nothing but the class variable. Okay. So how many classes are we are having? Three classes. So in previous slide we have seen, isn't it? So there are three classes are there. See, one, two, and three. And it is a five-dimensional data set because we are having five fields. Five fields, that is five attributes, isn't it? So if it is five attributes, then this is called as five-dimensional data set, 5D data set. And now let us see what is future engineering. Okay, future engineering is a process of translating data set into features okay translating data set into features such that the features are able to represent the data set okay the future have to represent the data set more efficiently and result in better learning performance okay so the data set will be translated into the future is called as feature engineering. Okay, so feature engineering is very important pre-processing step for machine learning. The data set should be pre-processed by using future engineering. Right? So there are two major elements in future engineering. So this is future engineering. This is the first element that is future transformation. And second element is future subset selection. So these two are major elements of future engineering. When come to future transformation, again there are uh, two important things are there. First one is future construction and second one is future extraction. Okay, let us see those things one by one. The first one is future transformation. Okay, so future transformation used to, to transform the data the data may be a structured data, unstructured data, whatever data it may be. So the data will be transformed into new set of features. So this is called as future transformation. Future transformation means the data will be transformed into new set of features, okay, which can represent the underlying problem. So based on the problem, we try to create new set of features then this is called as future transformation, right? So there are two important variants in future transformation. First one is future construction and second one is future extraction. Future construction and future extraction. The first one is future construction, okay? So future construction is the process of discovering the missing information in the data set discovers missing information in the data set okay how it will discover the missing information the relationship between the features that is the existing features in the data set okay so it tries to understand the relationship between the features and try to discover the missing information from the data set okay so this is called as feature construction future constructions. For example, we are having n features in our data set, okay, or n dimension data set. If after constructing the features, that is after creating future construction, m more features or dimensions will be added. m more dimensions will be added, okay. Now, how many dimensions will be there? m plus n dimensions will be there in the data set. Okay. For example, uh, in the student database, we are having student number, student name, okay, height, height, age, and etc. Okay. From here, uh, this is school student. 
school student database. Here, height is there, age is there, weight is missing. Weight is missing here. Now, we need to identify the weight of all students. Okay? So, how it will be discovered? Based on the height and age, we can somehow predict the weight. Weight of student. Okay? Because age and height are related to each other. Age and height are related to each other. Now, the weight is new dimension. Okay? That is new feature. Right? The second one is feature extraction. Feature extraction is the process of extracting or creating new set of features. New set of features from the original set of features using some functional mapping. Using some functional mapping. That is by using some mathematical computation, we try to create a new set of features. Okay. For example, uh, again we will take the student database. The student database here. Uh, we are having student number, subject 1, subject 2, subject 3 marks. So, from this subject uh, database, we try to create total and average. Okay. So, how you will get the total? The sum of all three field are total and average, total divided by 3 is average. Here, we are using some functional mapping between the attributes or uh, features. Okay. So, this is future extraction. So, the future subset selection which is otherwise called as future selection. Here, the objective of future selection is to drive a subset of future from the full future set, full future set which is most meaningful in the context of specific machine learning problem. Okay. So, by using some mathematical computations, we try to create some required or additional features from the existing future is called as future subset selection. Okay. So, here the future selection is derived as subset Fj. Fj which is having F1 to Fm features. So, these features are created newly from the features Fi which is F1 to Fn. Okay, F is nothing but features. Okay, the Fi is contains n number of features and the Fj contains m number of features. Here, the new feature should be less than the existing features. This is very important here. Okay, the m is the new features, that is newly created features. m is the original full feature set in the database. Right? Here, Fj is set of most meaningful feature. Fj is a set of most meaningful features and gives the best result for machine learning problem. For that purpose only, we have created the M set of new features. And this is simply the introduction about the basics of future engineering. Uh, here we have seen what is uh, features and what is future engineering. After that we have seen the future transformation and future subset selection which two are the important components of future engineering. So in future transformation again two important things are there. First one is future construction and future extraction. In the next class we will see all those things in somewhat detail. Right? And uh, thank you.